Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome to Selenium Python training program. In the last session, we discussed a brief overview on Selenium and its components. Today, I just want to explain you about Selenium IDE or in a simple terms, a record and a playback operation. Okay, how can I perform record and a playback operation? So the first option which I have here is a Selenium IDE. And the second option we have is a Catalan Studio or Catalan Recorder. So these are the two different options using which we can record our test script and we can play back the user actions. So first of all, Selenium IDE. To perform this one, I'm navigating to my Selenium official website, downloads page. See here, if you scroll down, you can find the information related to this particular component. And I scroll down, see here, Selenium IDE is a Chrome and as well as a Firefox plugin which records and playbacks user interactions within a browser. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want to go with an, a Chrome browser or Firefox browser. Here are the versions. If you would like to add it to a Chrome browser, you need to click on it. If you would like to add it to a Firefox, you need to click on it. Now I just want to add it to my Chrome browser. The steps are one and the same whatever we are following now in order to add to a Chrome or a Firefox. So I'm clicking on a for Chrome now. It's navigating to the Chrome add-ons extension page. And here for me, remove from Chrome add-on uh, option is displaying. The reason is I have already added this add-on. That's the reason it's displaying as a remove from Chrome. Whereas if you are trying for the very first time, you can find an option which is add to Chrome. Once after you added this add-on on the top right corner of your browser, you can find a close button. Just below the close button, you have this toolbar among which if you mouse over on this option, Selenium ID option is getting displayed. Click on that. As soon as you clicked on that, this is what the pop-up it is getting displayed in Selenium IDE. See here it is stating that welcome to Selenium IDE 3.16.1 and here are all the options whatever we have. So the first option I'm selecting is my requirement is to perform a record and a playback. So that's the reason I'm selecting a first option record a new test in a new project. So I'm selecting and I'm giving a name as a demo project. Okay, my project name, I'm giving it as a demo project and click on an OK. Whenever you give it as a demo project, usually it will ask the application URL. See here, before you can start recording, you must specify a valid base URL of your project. Your test will start by navigating to the URL. So how these people has designed this Selenium IDE means whenever you are trying to create a new project in Selenium IDE, you have to specify on which application you want to perform these operations so that the first action what Selenium IDE will do is it will navigate to that particular URL. So my requirement is a simple. I want to perform a search operation on a Bing.com. So I'm copying the Bing URL and I'm placing. See here in a base URL, they have a given a placeholder where you need to give the URL from the HTTP protocol. See, I have a given my URL specifying with the protocol HTTPS www.bing.com and now click on start recording. As soon as I clicked on a start recording, a new Chrome browser got opened for me in which whatever the URL I have specified it open that URL and if you observe at the bottom of this browser okay if you observe at the bottom of this browser the one which I have highlighted see it is displaying a message which is the selenium IDE is recording so whatever the actions you are performing on this browser your selenium ID is recording that so my requirement is to perform a search operation so I'm just entering a search value and I'm clicking on a search button. That's it. This is what my test case I want to automate. I, I want to record using Selenium. I did that. Now see here there is a tab for Selenium IDE. Click on that and at the extreme right end there is a stop button displaying and whenever you mouse over on that stop recording option is getting displayed just click on the stop recording as soon as you clicked on a stop recording it's prompting me an option to name my test case as of now i don't want to give any name hence i'm choosing as a later so for the actions whatever you have a performed on the browser see these many commands got captured by my selenium id so whatever the action i performed on a browser all those things so the first command it opened an application hence it captured an open command 
later we clicked on a text field and then we entered a value so it captured a command for both a click and a type but i don't want to use a click hence i simply deleted that type is a command which will be entering a value and click is a command which will be performing a click operation so we have a recorded a simple test script now i just want to play back my script see here i do have a two play buttons mouse over on the second option it is displaying as a run current test case i'm clicking on this option now see on a browser it opened the application and it performed that operation on this browser okay it performed the operation on this browser and the click command it doesn't performed the click operation the reason might be the property whatever it captured is not a valid one or with this property your selenium was unable to perform this operation so you know when you are dealing with this component we can give an appropriate property within your script that's the second way but this is how you can record a simple script and you can play back a script once the script got executed see in a log you can find the details about it for suppose if the script got a fail and even the details will be failed for suppose here i'm doing insert a new command my command is a click and id equal to surendra so whenever i give this id equal to surendra what selenium id will do means on the browser it will search for a object with an id property as a surendra and it will try to perform that operation i know this is a wrong property so when i run my test script this time it will fail stating that see here trying to find id equal to surendra in a browser it's not a valid property it will wait for maximum of 30 seconds and later it will fail the test script you know if at all the property whatever we have a given is not a valid property then the test script will fail with no such element exception so with the property whatever you have specified in your script your selenium was unable to identify such kind of a message this will display see here implicit wait ended with one error that's it so failed so it was unable to perform operation on this particular object that's it that's a straightforward and a simple thing so this is the way how can we use selenium ide for recording a playback and the next option is a catalon recorder see what exactly this catalon recorder is catalon recorder or we can call it as a catalon studio this is an another editor and which is a complete tool we can call it as a test automation tool which is a catalon so the catalon was built on top of a selenium only and it uses almost all the commands whatever we are using in selenium so the syntax is a bit different in catalon but the commands everything are one and the same in between selenium and the catalon recorder okay it has a lot many advantages with respect to selenium which is a different tool so we can perform record and a playback feature not only with selenium ide with a catalon recorder also we can do that so directly i'm jumping on to my browser and let me search for catalon recorder see here catalon recorder and here there is a second option i'm just clicking on a second option see it's navigating to the same uh, chrome extensions page and it was already added hence it is displaying as a remove for you people it will display as add to chrome option just add to chrome automatically it will be added and next to your selenium id this is the catalon recorder whenever you click on this icon it will prompt us this catalon studio almost the options are one and the same like our selenium id itself so here we have a record option click on a record option and now directly in a browser i'm performing operations bing.com surendra jagannatham and click on a search button that's it i recorded this go to the catalon studio and stop the recording so as soon as you stop the recording see the script got execution this recording got stopped and uh, this is the way how can we do this particular one okay how can we do a simple record and a playback see i have already um, my a few some of my test scripts is there that's the reason it captured in an improper way that's the reason what i'm doing means i'm uh, selecting all the commands right to click delete all the commands okay i just want to delete all the commands and i want to recreate my test script so records so open the bing.com 
enter Surendra Jagannatham and click on a search button. Now go back to Catalan Studio, click on stop recording, see the commands got a capture. You can click on a play button. Automatically, it's going to perform that particular operation. First, suppose if you want to change the text, see here, lucky trainings. And now run the script. See here, this time it is entering the lucky trainings and it's getting info related to that particular one. So this is all about the Catalan Studio Recorder. And there is an option for us to see here, we do have an export. So we can convert this script into the recorded script into Selenium Java J unit. This is how it's going to look like. You can convert this script into Python unit testing. This is how it's going to look like. And if you want to convert it into a protractor, you can convert here. So there is an option to convert your test script, the recorded script into a desired programming language. So it's going to be a basic option. And if at all you are completely new to the programming or automation testing, then you can record your test scripts in Catalan Studio and you can convert it into your desired one. For suppose my requirement is a Selenium J unit. I will convert here. I will copy this code and I will paste this code in my program and I can execute it. Like that, we can perform this operation. Cool. So this is a second option, which is a Catalan recorder. So these are the two recording options available in Selenium. Cool. That's all I have, guys. See you again in the next session. Thank you.